to this story? Oh, um, I think it was the romance. <laughs> Most importantly, it was the romance, which um, I just hadn't seen in a while. It was these amazing two female characters who, who had this common thread of, you know, wanting agency in their lives and, and watching them, you know, seek that out and find that in the face of so many complications. It was just, it was unique and it was rich and luscious and had these incredible, you know, men who were kind of, you know, dreamy in a way. And you just, I just immediately fell in love with it. What do you hope viewers take away from it? Gosh, I hope they feel warm and cozy and, you know, just feel a renewed belief in love and true love and, and also feel that it's never too late. I think um, sometimes it's easy to say I'm too old or, you know, my time has passed. And I don't think that's ever true, whether it be for love or any endeavor in life. Um, so are there any fun Easter eggs from the book in the movie? I don't know about Easter eggs, but I feel like the material was so rich and there was so much to take from in the book. And um, I mean, so many of the scenes, the conversation, the lines between, you know, the, the dialogue between the characters, we just lifted it, <laughs> put it in the script. And, um, and then the love letters, you know, they were so beautiful. And reading the book, I was just swept up in, in the way that you, Jojo, <laughs> composed beautiful love letter you know from the voice of Anthony and uh and <laughs> we just took those and and put them in and tried to, tried to stay as true to the source material as we could I do remember we had some fun creating some new ones while I we know I know it was so fun um so this is for Shailene what's your favorite scene or the scene you were the proudest of I mean this is one of those movies where every scene felt like equally as exciting and special because they all had so many different elements. Like there was a scene that Joe and I did um, towards the end of the film where it's it's Christmas time and our design team brought in a 30 foot Christmas tree, something like something insane. And the and you see it just briefly in one shot, but it was the care, I think, and the like the attention to detail that Augustine had and that all the other creative people and department heads on the on the set had. Um, where, you know, Augustine would play a song in the middle of a scene or in the beginning of a scene to kind of get you into the mood. And, and uh, I, for some reason, that one always sticks out to me. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it was the, the mix of the Christmas tree with the, the song that you played and the record playing and like smoking a cigarette and then Joe coming in being like, we need to have a conversation. Like all of it together just felt really, really moody and really special and nothing felt fabricated. It was so sharp, the end of that scene. It kind of came like a blow. It was, yeah. Yeah, Joe, you're scary. Not a reach. Same question for Callum. Callum, what's your favorite scene or the scene you were the proudest of? Uh, I think, well, there's, like Shay said, I, I really had a lot of fun doing all these all of it but there was there's two moments both were in Mallorca one was me Joe and Shay because it was one of the first days and we were getting to know each other and there was the excitement with Augustine and that view and then this the 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 one I am um, most proud of I think is the one on the boat on the yacht because it just it's just a really I mean it was a it was a it looked like a lovely day it was pretty stressful wasn't it <laughs> um, uh, I, just really, I just really like how that panned out I love that dialogue between you on the boat. You're so snappy with each other. I think there was like one version where you were like peeling grapes the whole time, right? It was got entirely cut out of the, <laughs> of the movie. That's a little director's trick where you're like, let's have them doing something that we know. No, I'm just kidding. I intended to do it. it just didn't work. <laughs> it was great. Just didn't make the edit, that's all. <laughs> But no, Jojo, so much of that dialogue, like taken straight from the book, it was so tense. And uh, that's one of those scenes. And we all, yeah, it was great. Yeah. I think uh, one of my favorite scenes was actually, um, and it's not even a, a scene that's heavy with dialogue, but it was Callum and Shailene in the hotel when she goes to meet him and you realize that she wants him to seduce her. And there's, mm -hmm. I don't know what you do with your eyes in that scene, Shailene, but it's like you turn into Puss in Boots from Shrek. Your eyes just get bigger and bigger and bigger as you walk up to him. You are literally kind of vibrating with longing. It's just the loveliest thing I've ever seen. How he manages to turn you down, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun scene to do. 
Felicity, um, what are your favorite elements of the character that you played? Uh, I loved her spikiness. I love the way she's so resistant to Rory and that she's been a little bit broken in the past and, and hasn't found the love that she's looking for but she's going to make it really hard to find it again. And I, I love the way she has the combination of being such an enormous romantic at heart, but just laced with so much cynicism. And I just, I think I really identified with who she was at a certain point in my own life. So it, it felt very familiar in, in some respects. And I mean, was there a defining aspect of the role that you were excited to portray? Personally, like, I think people are going to be surprised at how funny you are. Yeah. Well, that thanks. <laughs> that um that's what that's what I loved about it. And that's why I just was desperate to do something where I could have some fun actually and uh and just it was so her wit is so easy and and with Naban we just we actually it was such a you guys had so much more of the emotional heavy lifting and then Naban and I were just having a good old laugh so it was a, it was such a such a yeah awesome experience and and it's just it's so nice when you just have good dialogue that just rips off the page and just makes it so much so easy to do absolutely i'm never going to be able to eat across something the same way yeah. <laughs> i know i don't recommend eating i think i I was so excited about the croissant scene that I started just, you know, eating every one and then got more and more sick. And then I was like, oh, that's why people do the bucket thing where they spit yeah. it into the bucket. But it took me a bit of time to get there. Um, this one's for Joe. If you were to find letters and uncover a love story from a certain era, what time period would you choose? Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> just an easy question there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'd <laughs> just throw that out there. <laughs> um, maybe I'd either jump back to like, maybe I'd jump miles forward. Is that is that something I can do? Just see what it's like a few few thousand years ahead. Um, if I can uncover something from the past, I feel like around kind of World War One time there'd be some pretty amazing stories, probably pretty grueling and harrowing as well. But um, some pretty good stories to uncover then. Maybe I'll go back then, yeah. The amazing letters, I'd imagine. Um, this is for all of the cast. If you were to close your eyes and pick your favourite spot, like Jennifer does in the movie, where are you? <laughs> Shailene first. Um, nature, for sure, for me. Maybe the ocean, maybe on a boat in the middle of the ocean or somewhere deep in the mountains. Nature. Any form of nature. Mm. Helen? Uh, uh, Richmond Park. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Chelsea game? Chelsea game. Exactly. <laughs> um, I was going to say that, but I thought it'd be. Uh, no, um, uh, uh, Richmond Park. I love going to Richmond Park. And um, there's a, from Roehampton Gate, there's the hill and with, there's a little forest area that no one really ever goes to. So it's not my little secret spot. You shouldn't say that because now everyone's going to go there and try and see you. Well, obviously, I'm, be I'm lying because I was going to say Chelsea. <laughs> well, I feel like I've had to do this loads during the pandemic, um, but probably uh, just being anywhere in Italy. I think, um, and particularly just, I mean, not similar to Shailene, just by, um, by the sea. That is my that is my happy place, <clears throat> swimming in the sea. What about you, Nabon? This is a hilltop in a tiny town uh, called Brattleboro in Vermont. Sounds super random, but um, my friends and I set off Chinese lanterns um, top of this hill one night on Chinese New Year, and it's really special. So probably there. Lovely. And Joe? I think I would say this. Um, beautiful little place in Cornwall where I used to go with my family every year and still get to go to sometimes it's right down at the tip and um yeah it's just really beautiful I choose there what about you guys Augustine and Jojo oh gosh I, well a bit like Felicity I feel like I've, I've spent way too much time picturing favorite spots um <laughs> oh, do you know what? I would like to be underwater I would like to be anywhere in scuba gear underwater mm. just with the sound of my breathing in my ears and some fish in front of me, but nowhere near my garden or my toes. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've walked every day for kind of 18 months. Yeah, underwater somewhere, that would be great. I feel like, well, I just left Hawaii again and was surfing there. And no matter what, as terrible of a surfer as I am, when you're on the board and it's early morning and you've just woken up and had coffee and gone down, there's nothing better. And the whole day is waiting and you're surfing. <laughs> And this question's from the barn. Um, Ellie's persistence and curiosity in unfolding Jennifer and Anthony's story is a big part of what drives the story. Is there anything you're that passionate and curious about? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, loads. I, I'm really passionate and curious about... Um, art and specifically music and books I like to look into like who wrote this and what was you know like what where were they in their life when they wrote this or like you know I like to look into to the details behind um how people create things thank you so much guys for taking part in this and thank you for bringing these characters to life in a film that I think people are going to love uh I really appreciate it thank you Jojo thank you Jojo thank you thanks Jojo